Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and today we have a Dollar Tree haul. Okay, my favorite. We're going to go ahead and jump right in, but before I do so, I just want to say my eyes are watering allergies. So if you see something going on with, you know, up here in my eye, with my eyelids, chow, it's allergies, okay? Let's jump into this haul and see what I got. I'm not sure if these are new to Dollar Tree or if they're just new to me. I've never seen them in the Dollar Tree that I frequent. There are others that have more new things, but the ones that I frequent, this was the first time I saw these body washes, and it is by the brand, it's called, I believe it's called Dragonfly Bath and Body, and um, they are formulated without sulfates, dyes, and parabens. This one here is fragrance-free, uh, and this green one that I have is uh, the scent tea tree and sage now I really do like that it has um, it is without all of the things so I wanted to go ahead and give these a try it is a pretty decent amount too it's 16 fluid ounces just so you all know with those with those body washes there were two other fragrances one was lemon lemonade I believe and then there was another one that was lavender um, but they have a very very faint smell even the tea tree and sage I don't really smell it as much to be honest it's they're almost like unscented bath um, body wash so just so you know but this is the spa relax it's supposed to be a dupe for well I don't know if it's supposed to be but I think we all kind of just you know refer to this as a dupe of the bath and body works one now i do like the smell of eucalyptus so i did get eucalyptus especially if i'm trying to do like a little aroma therapy situation so um i did pick that up and then i also picked up this now i don't like the new packaging um this is just something that i usually get when i go to dollar tree but i have not gotten this new one before they only had the subtle subtle scent and then they had um i think it was paradise island or something anytime i get a feminine wash i need it to be unscented it's got its own scent we don't need all of that i just need the scent to be clean so um i'm hoping that this will be okay because i usually don't do scents but Yes. One of my favorite products to get from the Dollar Tree is anytime I see any of the Parabrin, Softy, Natural, um, they even have PS, the brand PS, which is uh, from Primark. I love Primark. For those of you who know, you know. So anyway, this is the Paraben Free, Sulfate Free Argan Glow Conditioner. This is supposed to be a hydrating conditioner by the Softy brand. This is my first time seeing this. They did also have a shampoo, but I stick to the shampoos that I know I'm not really big on buying or trying new shampoos to be honest and because I am a natural girl I do like to have or a curly hair girl I do like to have um, more conditioners because I like to co-wash with them usually I'm not able to find any of the I only eyelashes so I was very excited when I was able to find these two this one is um, wispy cluster doll I do like the packaging as I believe we all like the packaging. And then we also have the natural, I'm not sure why that's not picking up, there we go. And then we also have the natural light doll, which is really, really pretty as well. And y'all, I was really excited when I saw this. This is the blush. I'm not sure if it's called Billy, but it's the I only blush, and I believe it is uh, called Billy just because of what it says here on the packaging. This is um, a glam peach blush. I'm excited about it because one thing about me is I love a good blush and I've always been that way. So I was excited when I found this. There was another one that was for deeper complexions. Um, by deeper, I mean mine and deeper. But it was somebody had mishandled it. So I couldn't get it. But I was excited to get this one because there was only these two left. So I'm not sure what else is what else they have for that reason because that one all of the blushes were gone anyway moving on to a water bottle i i think we all love a good tumbler a good water bottle um and this was just too cute for me to pass up i don't know what it is about i just love all the colors okay like all the colors of the rainbow that is god's promise and i'm here for all the colors for my promise from god okay so i really really do like it i do wish that it had you know the straw and all the things but it was about 25 i'm not about to you know cry about it when you thirsty you gonna drink it doesn't matter what the container is and then I got these I feel like I got two of them I'm not sure if I just can't find the other one or if um my little swiped it but <laughs> it is a pink lemonade uh lip balm which we always need a good lip balm because child 
she got the juice okay and then i needed a seven pill organizer which i've been looking for for a while they've always they have just had the the long ones and i need one that i can drop in a bag because i try to keep up on my vitamins and things of that sort i also picked up some wig caps because well i like to change up my hair a lot and then i do have this foot file that i thought was pretty cute now this was my first time seeing this um but again i don't know if that's because it was just at the particular one that i went to but you could always use a foot file, so I picked that up. I feel like y'all know I was very happy <laughs> when I found my Bolero wipes, so I picked them up. I have not seen these Bolero wipes in months. So, um, yeah, oat milk and apricot is this one. We have honey and green tea seed oil and mango raspberry seed oil is this one. And again, I just like these a lot because it's it's a large package so it's easier for them to come out the smaller ones i find especially if i'm in the mix of doing makeup and stuff is already on my hands if they're just harder to get out in when you pull them out because it's so compact it pulls out more than one and i'm not trying to waste you know so sometimes i really just need one so uh yeah every time i see these razors i pick them up because i do my brows myself i do not go to a shop to get them done um i do also love a facial mist and i am running out of the one that i love to use for this i use it literally just to hydrate like i love spraying this beforehand and sometimes after because i am very much a powder girl especially on work days i do like to spray this as well i feel like i don't really need a setting spray too much when it comes to wearing powder well the powders that i use because i do try to use more co uh, more coverage like full coverage powder but i do want it to be hydrating because you know i don't want to be looking extra dry and that's what the powder does anyway so i do like these a lot i feel like you know back in the day youtube when we were all in love with mario badesco <laughs> I feel like this is like the new uh, Mario Badescu to me. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I always pick one up and I was running low. So I saw that one and got it. I was in the bath soap aisle and I saw this. And I've seen these before and I just never picked them up. Now, I love anything that has oatmeal and I love the smell of coconut. I won't eat it. I don't mind using the milk when I'm cooking because that's just the West Indian in me. But... <laughs> like coconut milk, coconut milk we need to have it but like to eat coconut i'm not a fan of but i love the smell so i picked this up because it smells so good just in the bar and honestly when i went down the aisle i'm like what smells so good and it could have been somebody who had passed the aisle before i got in there but child i was just like what is that that smells so good and then i just saw the bar and i smelled the box and it smells really good now is this what i was smelling i don't believe so i can't really remember i just know something smelled good i smelled this and it smelled good so it needs to go in the cart <laughs> and then we have these two gift boxes so this one's really pretty it's a butterfly it's got all the colors and it's pretty deep and this one is just flowers it's really pretty as well there is glitter on the top of both boxes here you can see all of the pink has glitter on it and then for this one it is um the boxes is it upside down no it's right it is all of the orange parts that are on the outer part of the box that have the glitter anyway what i want to use these for is um you know when people have you can see how deep it is it's really cute on the inside as well and i will open this one and the reason why i got a big one and a small one they're so cute is because I want to use them as prayer boxes so you know you can buy them but those are pretty much the prayer boxes are really nice or like the little prayer um tumblers and they come with like little cards that you can write on I it's a cute idea but for me <laughs> I need more space and so sometimes those cards don't go to use or um, I also feel like I want a new one sometimes you, you get them and then you can fill them up and you need a new one and you don't necessarily want to buy a $20 box from you know the Christian gift store so I thought that this would be really cute and it's different it's deeper I don't know I really like it a lot I got one for me and I got one for the little because I also want her to get into the habit of of writing stuff down I think as adults it's easier for us to prayer journal and it's a little bit harder for kids to do that and so I feel like if she writes down something small and puts put it in the box and you know when she goes back to look at it when her prayer has been answered or um, when she just goes back to look at it to see what it is that she did write down it would be like edifying for her and you know something to keep her encouraged as she is just a little little one you know growing in God next we have magazines did y'all know that dollar tree had magazines like i just never paid attention to it to know me is to know that i love to read i love books i love research all things okay and so the first one that we have here is 
uh, small, small gardens. I love a good magazine. I was the girl back in the day that had the Insta magazine, the Cosmopolitan magazines. Like I was that high schooler. So I really do enjoy a good magazine, the Essence magazine. Like that was me. This is the beauty magazine from head to toe. Um, that's what it says there. So I picked that up as well. This, these are just, I love a good music magazine, especially if you are out and about, if you're just at the park, if you are just at the beach, which me, we love to do that here. Well, I definitely love to do that. So when I'm, um, whenever I'm leaving or whenever we're having an outing, that is something that we do. We also have this one, which I thought would be good for the little, cause it's got a bunch of like different, you know, trivia, fun stuff in there. So I thought that would be cool. But this is the one that actually caught my eye. And I was like, okay, what, what's happening here? What are we talking about over there on the little stand? Okay, did y'all see? I was like, what's happening? Jesus, we got a Jesus magazine and a Dollar Tree. So I had to pick this up and I wanna see like what we're talking about in here. They all say that they're worth $4.99, but obviously they're in a Dollar Tree, so they are $1.25. But I just never, I've never seen someone talk about the magazines in a haul before, nor have I ever um, realized that they were there. So I'm not sure if they are new or if I just never realized they were there. Now, I also did go to the Dollar Tree that has like more things and gets more of the newer things. So I feel like they are a new thing because we've been shopping at Dollar Tree for years and I've never seen a magazine. <laughs> I feel like, oh, and we're matching today, okay? Dollar Tree staple in the summertime. We love these fans. So I definitely love them, especially at the beach. I'm a beach girl. And the little one that, you know, has the thing, I don't, I just don't care to sit there and hold that. Um, and I feel like people always want to borrow that one. Oh, can I use it? Because they're all of a sudden oh so hot. But they didn't bring a fan. But, you know, you got to really be dedicated to not being hot with this one. And most people, they <laughs> They really don't need a fan. They just want it because you got one. And they're not going to keep fanning themselves with this one. So anyway, I love this. Um, it's also a good church fan. But I also picked up this exfoliating body scrubber here. It is pink. Now, um, I hope that it works well. I am someone who loves using exfoliators. I did pick up an exfoliator mix. Which way does this go? This way. I do like using these, especially when I um, am shaving. Because I'm, I'm not someone who shaves. For well over 10 years, I've been using Nair because I just don't got time to be shaving. Um, so I do like to have the gloves or the mitt, but I feel like the mitt is easier because the mitt gives more protection. The gloves, if you've ever used Nair, you know that once it touches your skin, it feels weird and it's hard to get it off. So I feel like the mitt gives you a little bit more coverage than the glove does when you're wiping it off. Um, and then I lucked up and I found these. I've been seeing everybody haul these Flower Beauty primers. I am somebody who does like to use a primer i know it's not everybody's thing but it definitely is mine i love the packaging i think it's so cute with the gold and the green green is my favorite color so i'm i had to pick up two every time i go into dollar tree i do pick up this toothpaste because it is one of my favorites it's a house favorite actually and then i also saw this little magnet that i thought was cool um you know when you got littles they're always making stuff and you want to put it on the, the uh refrigerator and then there's reminders and stuff like that with everybody in the house just schedule changes or you know events so we love a good magnet and I thought that this was really really cute I also picked up this two-in-one foot file because again who doesn't need a foot file especially in the summertime and then I have this be pure essentially ages hydrating um concealer the concealer actually looks um like it will be a good shade now I'm not gonna open it right now but this looks like it'll be a good shade for me which is very surprising. So I picked that up. I'm not sure how it works. I haven't heard anyone talk about it, but again, I do really enjoy Be Pure, so I wouldn't be surprised if this worked exceptionally well. So that wraps up everything that I got from the Dollar Tree. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Let me know that you were here. If you haven't already, go ahead and do all the things, like, share, subscribe. And I thank you guys for being here as always, and I'll see you in the next video.